SCLC TV. I'm Maynard Eaton. Joining me, of course, is our president and CEO, Dr. Charles Steele Jr., and a special guest this week, this holiday week, uh, Dr. Jonathan Rapping. I call him a doctor because he's an expert at what he does with regard to public defenders and the president of Gideon's Promise. This summer, you two joined us on TV talking about a proposed partnership between SCLC and Gideon's Promise. Today has come to fruition, has it not? We're joining forces to do what, Dr. Steele? Well, first of all, to, as you know, Mayor, uh, to represent poor people. Uh, Dr. King died, gave his life, and we are embarking upon the 50th year of the Poor People Campaign and Dr. King's assassination. Uh, poor people has been the brunt instrument of this country for so many years, and everything has been on the back of poor folks. Even those who might be poor and then happen to have an opportunity to get out of the stratification of being poor, they have a tendency to forget, get amnesia. So what we're saying is that 140 million people in this country lives from paycheck to paycheck, and not to mention those who have been misrepresented in the criminal justice system. And that's where you come in, Johnson. Yes, absolutely. Rapping. Um, you're saying continuing the legacy of the Poor People's Campaign through mass incarceration or trying to fight against mass incarceration? Yeah, so, so our work really is in the criminal justice arena, which is where poor people are deprived access to jobs, to housing, mm -hmm. to family stability, mm -hmm. to voting. Um, as we put people through the criminal justice system, they oftentimes come out unable to participate in life. And when we think about who's being put through the criminal justice system, it's poor people. It's the people Dr. Steele's talking about who are in the criminal justice system. 80% of the people in the criminal justice system are so poor that they need court-appointed counsel. Are you two suggesting this is a new civil rights movement? Well, man, it's been all along. It's new to the point that we are creating an atmosphere where people care. You know, people just perceptually assume that people should be incarcerated, did something bad, did something terrible. Well, I've been in jail many, many times. Thank God it wasn't criminal, but it was for civil rights. Even suggesting to my wife, are you going to continue to stay with him? We keep going to jail. But I'm going to jail because of something good. And today people got good jobs, banking jobs, got educated because somebody paid attention. Not just me, but I did my little part because of what I did. So, so, and I would have to agree with that. I think that, that our public defenders are standing on the shoulders of people like Dr. Steele. Really? Uh, of the people on the wall mm -hmm. behind us. Because 50 years ago, 60 years ago, African Americans were explicitly kept from engaging in various aspects of society, whether it's voting, education. Civil rights warriors won that battle on one level, but I think the battles now shift to a new battleground. So now what we see is through the criminal justice system, we are rounding up our most vulnerable members mm -hmm. and we are incarcerating them. And instead of using Jim Crow laws, we're using mass incarceration to keep people from being able to access society. And the people that are being sort of kept out of society are poor people, disproportionately mm -hmm. people of color. It's people who have uh, who, who are the most marginalized in society. And so partnering with the SCLC and with Dr. Steele to help fight this battle in the criminal justice front um, is a perfect partnership because our lawyers are doing civil rights. We talked about this in our issue, current issue by magazine. We talked about it earlier today. The new Jim Crow, the new slavery, if you will, is that over the top or is that really where we are? We never left it. Um, it's easier to attain than to maintain. That's the title of my book, as you know. You know, we got all of these accomplishments and all these successes. You know, uh, going back uh, to 1954, Brown versus Board of Education, all the way through. And that's the only time that SCLC didn't lead the charge at that particular time. All other accomplishments was SCLC leading the charge. But it's economic terrorism. That's what it is. No access to credit. How in the world can you live in a capitalistic society and you have no capital? You're saying this is a new Jim Crow with regard to the prison system? 
and yep. public defenders trying to give some justice to those who can't afford a, a, a high price attorney? Absolutely. I mean, throughout history, there's been a war on poor people, and particularly right. poor people of color. That's right. Today, we see that war being waged in America's courtrooms. We have laws that make it easy to round up vulnerable communities. We have, um, we put them in a criminal justice system that processes them from arrest to sentencing, and the only person they have to fight for them is a public defender. That public defender is often heroic, but almost always overwhelmed, <laughs> under-resourced, overburdened, and as hard as they try, all they can do is stand there and watch poor people being processed into prison cells. So the work that we're proposing to do with SCLC is to change the way we see poor people and to change the way we understand the justice that they deserve. It's a crime to be poor in the, today's society. The holiday gift for many of those in the criminal justice system is this partnership. <laughs> Gideon's Promise, SCLC. Happy holidays. I'm Maynard Eaton. See you next week.